Hello everybody and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Will Ellington. In this video, I want to showcase a free, 100% free AI text-to-speech app that's going to save you money. Uh, here's my menu for the video. One, very quick intro, and I mean very quick. Two, let's jump straight into that free app. Three, let's compare ClipChamp, the free app, with a paid competitor, 11 Labs. And then four, let's sum up. Okay, so number one, quick intro. Why would you need an AI text-to-speech app? Okay, so let's say you've written a piece of text or you've generated some text in ChatGPT and you want to use it for a video. You want to use it as voiceover or narration for a video, but you don't want to record your own voice. Well, in that case, you're going to use an AI text-to-speech app, of which there are many. So maybe you're making a YouTube video, a TikTok video, whatever it is, you need voiceover. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight into my number two. Let's look at ClipChamp, the free option that I'm showcasing. It's made by Microsoft and it comes in multiple formats. You can download it as a smartphone app if you're on Windows as a desktop app. But what I'm going to use and I recommend is the cloud-based, browser-based uh app which goes across any uh, operating system doesn't matter if you're using mac windows or something else use that okay so clipchamp.com click sign in you can use your google account to sign in um, the free account is fine and that's what we're using here so next step is create a new video you'll get this video editor screen and on the left you have a menu click on record and create and boom, at the bottom, text to speech. If you click on that, it opens this window. And now we have some options. You can first of all choose the language. Default is English United States. You can play around with different languages. Two, choose the AI voice. The default is Florian, multilingual, but there are different voices with different tonalities, speeds, cadences, and so on. You just have to play around and preview them and see what works for you. But please note, some of the voices, for example, Tony, has additional settings. Not all of them, only some. For Tony, you can change the emotion. And now this is very cool. And I do not or have not seen this option on a free app elsewhere. I think this is uh, Windows is uh, really doing a good job here. So you can change emotion from neutral to angry to cheerful to excited and so on. And that's going to change the feel of the delivery of the text. You can also change the pitch. You can make it lower or higher. It's up to you. And finally, the pace, slower or faster. You copy and paste your text here and note at the bottom, maximum duration, 10 minutes. That is also very cool. 10 minutes is quite a lot of audio. Uh, that's very generous on Microsoft's part. Other competitors' free apps do not have that length. So that's cool. Let's test this out, okay? Uh, to test it, we need some text. I'm going to jump to Project Gutenberg, and I'm going to use some text from one of my favorite childhood books, Alice in Wonderland, Chapter 1, Down the Rabbit Hole. Let's use the first two lines. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank. I'm going to paste the text here, and I'm just going to go with Tony, neutral emotion, default pitch, and preview. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank, and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? Okay, so that's a generic default setting voice. If you wanted to use that, you just click save. But I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's just try changing the emotion. Let's try... Let's try... Excited. Okay. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, 
but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book? Thought Alice without pictures or conversations. Okay, so the two voices, two renditions are quite different, different tones, and I think different cadences. But let's say you like the second version, the excited version. You're just going to click save. And there it is. It appears in the timeline as an audio file. There's no video here, just audio. So let's say you want to use that audio in the video you're making for YouTube. The next step would be to export the audio. 480p is fine. You can export it. Uh, you can click on Save to Computer and download it as an MP4 file, which you could then drag into your timeline on your video editor. Personally, I use CapCut because it's free. You could just do that, and that would be your audio file. On top of that, you could put your video images, text, and everything else. That's the quickest way to use ClipChamp, generate AI text to voice, okay? So my advice with this app is to play around with the settings, the voices, and see what works for you. Let's jump back to my menu. So that was number two, show you ClipChamp, okay? That's free, entirely free. Let's go to the next part, ClipChamp versus Eleven Labs. Now, Eleven Labs is the industry leader in terms of speech to uh, text to speech. Why? Because it's AI voices feel the closest to mimicking human voices. The level of nuance and detail you'll see in a minute is definitely ahead of the competition. Uh, no question about that. With ClipChamp, the two versions we just heard, they weren't bad, but I would say personally they're quite monotone and flat. The delivery does still feel somewhat robotic, I, I think. Particularly in this sentence where You've got Alice speaking as herself and the narrator. So we've got the narrator's tone, narrator's voice, and Alice. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? It's very difficult for the AI to differentiate between those two different registers or tones. And Microsoft doesn't do that. Let's see if Eleven Labs can pick that up. I paste the same piece here. I'm going to use Daniel, the generic uh, default voice. Let's go. It takes maybe a few seconds to generate. But yeah. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice, she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book? thought Alice. Without pictures or conversations? Okay, so that was Daniel, uh, a British-sounding accent, okay? And again, with Eleven Labs, you get a whole range of choices, but this is uh, a, a paid app. What I did pick up in this rendition was the differentiation of Alice, the tone of Alice, and the tone of the narrator. There was a pause, and then there was a slight tone change to signal to the listener that it's a different voice. And that's why Eleven Labs is ahead of the competition, because its AI can tackle that level of complexity. And it's getting better all the time. You Also, I noticed the do, nothing to do, and the kind of emphasis on certain vowel sounds, uh, and so on. It, was very, it just gave the reading more shape, more body than the Windows ClipChamp version. So personally, I do use Eleven Labs and I do have a paid account. I use the creator account, which is $11 a month. The starter account is $1 per month, uh, usually $5, but they've got a campaign going. Yeah, I mean, I would play around with the free version first and see if it works for you before going into a paid um, subscription. Anyway, my point in this video was to showcase a free AI text-to-speech, which I've done, and it is ClipChamp, and it's usable, but perhaps not for lengthy readings. You might want to use it sort of sentence by sentence. It would work well for that. It has limitations, but then again, it is free. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, 
please leave a, a thumbs up and a like and a, please leave a comment too what do you think about clipchamp what do you think about eleven labs how do you use text to speech have you got a better free version a free option please please let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear about it i will catch you next time this video is now 10 minutes it's way too long but thanks for listening or watching bye bye